everyone, Dash Attack here. How are you doing? Today, I want to ask a simple question. Why is it that a lot of Japanese companies are becoming such cowards when it comes to standing up the whole modern audience mob and uh, game journalists? I just... I don't understand. So... What prompted me to make this video was the reveal that Konami is adding a trigger warning for outdated content on their very lucrative Metal Gear Solid franchise. Now, I know they had a falling out with Kojima. The two are at complete odds with each other, but they still own his IP, and that IP made them a lot of money and has an insane fan base to call the content outdated like that means like it's it's ins kind of insulting you for liking it in the first place now i've never been like a big metal gear fan i'm thinking about getting this collection i kind of want to get into metal gear but i feel like you really need to play the first game in order to really get Metal Gear as a franchise. And uh, that's the only one, like, that's one of the ones I haven't touched. It's crazy. And we've seen other companies like Square Enix and Capcom put trigger warnings or outright censor their games to, like, protect themselves from modern audiences. I just think it's insane. Obviously... Trigger warnings are preferable to censorship. And uh, reading some comments on this on Twitter, it seems like a lot of people are fine, so long as it means the game doesn't get censored. But I still think it's just kind of um, a bit slimy to like want to profit off these games while also saying it has content that isn't appropriate for the modern day. Especially since they're only, like, 20 years old. Like, I hear uh, Snake Eater has a gay character. I haven't gotten that far to find this out, but um, apparently people don't like how that character was handled. But, I mean, you have a gay character in a 2000s game. That's pretty progressive. I do feel like the age of hypersensitivity is slowly coming to an end. But... I'm just wondering when these companies are going to see that it's ending. Because, uh, quite frankly, like, a lot of them are still acting as if, you know, like, these, these crybabies are still relevant. I've seen evidence that you can succeed without like, journalists or Twitter mobs. Hogwarts Legacy sales, while that giant campaign against the game was going on I think is testament to that in fact the game actually may have sold more because of the controversy and the game is just all right I, I didn't even finish it so if a game like that can succeed what is Konami afraid of what is Capcom afraid of and that's basically all I want to say Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost at 800 subs. I'll see you all next time.